Ronnie, what I, I appreciate the Lord. I, I, I was thinking as Ronnie was teaching there, Ronnie, wonderful job. But I was thinking Gary as he, he was a, a teaching there that the Lord said we need to stir up our mind. Uh, Timothy was talk, or Peter was talking here. He said uh, that we need to stir up our minds. We, we need to remind ourselves. Beloved, I write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken. What? Gary, he's wanting us to remember just True. exactly what exactly. we've heard and right. what we've oh, learned. Yeah. And want us to re remember just, just what's a coming. Uh, we're living in a timeless and folks just don't want to make a commotion. They don't want to make a lot of noise. Seems like the church is the same way, Gary. Uh, when uh, John the Baptist come, listen, he didn't come up out of the wilderness uh, saying, oh, we're going to have a picnic, we're going to have a party. But all oh, he come out of there preaching. Yes, sir. Oh, right. And when Jeremiah, listen, Jeremiah wouldn't say all is well and all is going to be well. But all he come up there preaching and he began to tell, began to prophesy. Said, oh, listen, the Lord, the righteous judge. And Gary, he began to talk about that Mary Clay and that pit. You remember, listen, when old Stephen was standing there. Gary, he didn't apologize or say, God, guys, I'm sorry that I offended you, but Stephen stood up knowing that he was about to die. He yeah. said, ye stiff neck and uncircumcised oh, and hard in ears. He oh, said, as your father resisted, yeah. so do ye. Oh, Jesus, oh, listen, yeah. Jesus come back and yeah. Jesus preached and he was preaching, Gary. Oh. He talked about the lilies of the field, oh. but he went on to say, you old generation of vipers, yes oh, sir, oh, yeah. who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Yeah. There in Peter, Gary, the ninth verse, Second Peter chapter 3, back in 1985, I preached my first message down at Emmons, and uh, I, I was asked by my parents to come up to their church and preach. I preached that scripture right there, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering. Gary, as Ronnie was teaching that this morning, uh -huh. I'll tell you what, it just came to my mind and I could see it so clear cool. that I believe time should have already been over, Ronnie, yeah, I really do. Right. But I believe the door, somebody's hand was on the door and the door was going to be open for all these things to come out and take place. Mm -hmm. But I believe the Lord put his hand on the door and said, wait just a little bit longer. I want you to wait. We can't turn him loose yet. But he's long-suffering. Why did the word say he was long-suffering? Not willing that any should perish. You remember, listen, there's a lot of times we've got the goods. I preached the message, Gary, about uh, Paul, Paul telling Timothy about you need stirred up. And that's what we need reminded today. We're living in a time here we are set, we've got stale. Ah. This week everybody's got leftovers in the refrigerator. Oh. You know what? They was real good. They sure yeah. was. The beans and the potatoes, oh. the turkey, all of that, Jerry, that was yeah. real good. Oh. And we'll put them in the refrigerator and we'll bring them out and, oh. and we'll warm them up for a later time. But oh. we'll enjoy them again. Oh. All the ingredients was oh. in there. But I'll tell you what, they need stirred up when they're brought out. Got all the ingredients, Gary, got the right mixture, but they need stirred up. And that's what folks need to, Lord, we're living in a time. I've been fretting this week. God has blessed our church. Gary, it seems like that I've run out of ideas and, and ways to get people stirred up and get people involved. We was talking yesterday when we was out up in Wheel and Gary, and I said, boy, folks, as just went to sleep, and then I really don't know what to do, Gary, and that's why the Lord said it several times, we need stirred up. Samson Gary had the power of God on him, but the Bible said when he rose up, he shook himself. I believe if there was a time the church needs a shaking and a stirring in today, and all that we're living in, I am talking about it ain't what we used to be. 